Hey guys, Crazy Postman back at the SeaTac Adventures again. I got a new firmware update, firmware number 132. They emailed it to me just a few hours ago, so I'm headed back to Lawton, Oklahoma to try it again. And I just want to give this company props. They are booting out this firmware. So the day I tried it was Saturday the 9th. Today is Monday the 11th and they were able to turn the firmware around that quick and get me back this uh, fresh copy to go try. So I'm headed back to Lawton right now to go try that. Uh, it's a 55 mile trip, so 110 miles total. So it'll be just a few seconds for you, but it'll be 55 minutes for me. So I'll see y'all when I get there. It's the moment of truth. I'm here at the Francis Energy Station in Lawton, Oklahoma. We're going to give this a go just to see what happens. Communication failed. All right. Here's what's going to happen. So, I tried to do this with my credit card. So here's the thing, I might not be able to do it fast enough because I'm getting communication failed. So I'm gonna pause this and use my phone app and we will see if that changes anything. Okay, so I just initiated charge using my phone app. See how, uh-oh, stuff is clicking. Come on. Power initiated shutdown. Okay, we're initiating. We got this blinking down here. This is blinking green. The car says it's charging, but it's not getting any power. This is weird. So this is blinking green. The car thinks it's charging. But this still says initiating. Zero kilowatts. So this is, this is blinking green. And see this just says Tower initiated shutdown. That is weird. So close. And this says charging stopped. Like it was charging and then it stopped. What do you think of that, Duck? What do you think of me having all this trouble? <laughs> okay, stuff's happening. Stuff's clicking. Hey, this is good. I heard the car click underneath. The car says it's charging right now, but it's the same as earlier. It says zero kilowatt is being delivered. That is an interesting, see this still just says initiating. Now let me ninja through the window in there. I don't know if you can see that. Zero kilowatt, but it says charging. Looks like it gave up. Yeah, it gave up. 
So I've tested several times and I'm to the point to where the car will say it's charging every time, but the machine physically will not deliver any power to the car. So the car is not requesting um, how much power to give. Now that could either mean there's a firmware problem in the adapter, which is 99.9% probably the problem or the car physically isn't asking for power which would be silly there's I've never had a problem charging in the car before so chances are it is just the signal from the car not making it through the adapter in the proper format or language or whatever to tell the charger to charge at a certain power so it looks like we're gonna fail here again today but we're getting closer at least this firmware, it actually starts to charge, or the car thinks it's charging, but the station is not delivering any power. This could go back to the original problem where the car wasn't requesting power. So I'm gonna capture a few failures on the laptop and send it off to SeaTech Power and uh, wait for my next firmware update. But thanks again for watching this episode. I'm going to spend a few more minutes here with the laptop doing some computer work and then uh, I'm going to head back to home base. It's kind of cold out here and I'm ready for dinner. Y'all have a good one.